welcome back. So got a review and lip swatch party for y'all today on the Rimmel The Only One lipstick. So I have six different shades. I'm gonna run through the different colors, show you swatches on my hand as well as lip swatches, and just kind of talk about the claims and just give you an overall review on what I'm thinking about these lipsticks. So let's jump into it. So starting with pricing and packaging, I found these at Walgreens for $7.49 each. And this is what the packaging looks like. It's really pretty. It's very kind of like sleek looking has sort of a unique kind of a shape to it. I would say possibly not ideal for storing, like if you're stacking them or anything like that because they're kind of that like funky sort of a shape. But you know, I think they're really aesthetically pretty to look at. You do have a little like swatch of the color on the bottom, which is really nice. So you can quickly see which color you're grabbing. These do have that kind of like flat sort of a shape to them. So they're not like the traditional, you know, like angular, well, it's angled, but you know what I mean. It's more of a flat, flat but angled lipstick bullet shape versus a traditional lipstick bullet shape. So that's what it looks like. Pricing and packaging, that's the info. Let's move on. And then as far as the claims go, this is what the display said. A lipstick revolution, new, the only one lipstick. No compromise, all in one lipstick. Color, comfort, moisture, and wear. So that's what they're saying that these do. Now for some swatches, so I'm gonna go in order of kind of lightest to darkest slash brightest versus like number order because number order doesn't make any sense to me. I don't know. Because we're gonna start with 700 Naughty Dude, but we're gonna go lightest to brightest slash darkest. You get the idea. Okay, 700 Naughty Dude. This one is like a really pretty nude shade and it's right in between a pink, a peach, and a brown. Like I really couldn't pick if it's more of kind of like a pinky nude or a peachy nude. It's just right in between all of them. It's beautiful. And it has a little bit of like a sheen to it. These are not flat matte. These are not matte lipsticks. These are kind of like a shiny, glossy sort of a lip product. Um, they do set down a little bit to not be as glossy as you wear them, but um, they're definitely not a matte lipstick. They're more on the shiny side. Really kind of like youthful and hydrating looking on the lips. This next one is number 120, You're All Mine. And this one I would describe as like a sweet springtime pink. It really is just a gorgeous kind of bright pink, but it's not like a neon. Um, and as far as like if it's warm toned or more cool toned pink, I think it's honestly kind of like right in the middle. It's just that mid-tone, classic, sweet pink, very kind of like Valentine's. I love it. I think it's very youthful, very girly, beautiful shade. Next is number 600 Peachy Beachy. This one is a pretty stinking bright peach shade. You know, when I was looking at swatches of these, because they released, I guess, in the UK earlier than, you know, here. When I was looking at swatches, this did not look as bright on anybody else as it does on me. I don't know if it's just maybe on camera, it doesn't look as bright, and maybe in person it's brighter. I don't know, but it's a pretty neon sort of a peachy shade. It's pretty, but it's not quite what I was expecting. I was expecting more of kind of like a sweet, um, light sort of a peach, whereas this one is more of a bright neon sort of a peach. But it is really pretty, it's just not quite what I was expecting. And another bright one, this is 610 Cheeky Coral. This one I was expecting to be kind of like a, I don't know, like a cherry coral sort of a shade, and it definitely is. It has that kind of like reddish tint to it, but it's, again, pretty neon. Um, I don't know, I think I was like thinking towards springtime and bright lipsticks and I definitely got some bright colors. This one's just a really pretty bright coral, but again, it's a little bit on the neon side, but really fun for spring. I love this shade. This one is number 300, Listen Up. This is a gorgeous, like pinky, but bright fuchsia sort of a shade. It's very kind of berry tone too has some red in it, but it's just more on the like, I don't know, like a bright wine berry color. I love it. It's very opaque. All of these are really creamy and opaque. You don't have to like try to build them up and make them even. They apply really evenly. And that's just another gorgeous shade. You guys know I love these sort of like fuchsia berry colors. And then lastly, this is 510 Best of the Best. This is just a gorgeous, 
classic red shade and it's kind of that like mid-tone red it's not super orangey but it's not super cool toned either it's just right in between classic red and again it's really opaque it applies really evenly it looks really nice on the lips it's comfortable if you're looking for a good red lipstick i think this one is a great option it just looks very hydrating on the lips too it doesn't look drying um it just makes your lips look nice, you know what I mean? Because it's comfortable and it's hydrating and it's opaque and it's just good. As far as living up to the claims and my overall review on these lipsticks, we'll run through the claims really quickly. No compromise all-in-one lipstick. Yeah, I think they're a great lipstick formula. They do a bunch of different things. Color, they have great color payoff. They apply really nicely, very opaque. They don't drag, they're not uneven really nice color payoff. They have a lot of different color options. Um, they have darker shades. I didn't really pick up any of those. Definitely brighter shades as you saw. Um, I wish they had more neutral sort of colors. You know, I got Naughty Nude. And then they have um, one other one that's kind of like a frosty sort of shade. But I would love to see more neutral tones in the line. But I still think they have great um, color options and just they, have, they apply really nicely. They're very even really opaque, great color payoff. And then Comfort and Moisture, they are very comfortable and very hydrating on the lips. I think that they feel really nice. They're not drying. They don't drag when you apply them. Um, I do notice that they kind of like set as you wear them a little bit longer. So they feel super hydrating at the beginning when you first apply them. And then they sort of like dry down a little bit, but then they don't feel drying to me. They're just not quite as hydrating feeling as when you first apply them. But that also then helps the next claim, which is wear. The wear time on these is really impressive. That's really what shocked me about these is that for how comfortable they feel on the lips, they really do stick around for a good amount of time. Like I've worn these for upwards of like six hours and they are still looking nice and staying strong on the lips. So I'm super impressed with the wear time on these. It's really good. And especially for how hydrating they are, like that's kind of hard to find. Sometimes you find either comfort or longevity. It's kind of hard to find the balance between the two and these lipsticks definitely have that. So my overall review on these lipsticks is that I really do love them. One other thing I want to note about them is that they have a very kind of strong sweet scent. I don't know how to describe it but it kind of smells like some of the other Rimmel lipsticks but it's more on the like candy sweet fruity side versus like perfumey. I don't like perfumey. I'm okay with a candy sort of a scent. Vanilla is my favorite, but this isn't bad. But that's one other thing I wanted to know. But yeah, I really love these. I think they're awesome. I think they're really nice. I would love it if the price point was a little bit lower. That's one thing I would change about them. But I think they're a great formula, great color options, just a really nice lipstick. All right, guys, so that wraps up this review and lip swatch video. So I hope that you really enjoyed it and I hope it was helpful for you. Please give it a thumbs up if it was. Let me know down below what you are thinking about these lipsticks. What are some of your favorite shades? Ask me any questions that you have. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already and I'll see you in my next video.